Hello. So, uh, here, let me just get all these in frame, but, um, sup? Welcome to my channel, if you haven't seen it. I'm mostly a gaming channel, but I was messing around with my guitar and thought, why not just, you know, dabble in a little music? So, some of you guys know that I play guitar, but I don't really do anything with it professionally. Because I'm not that good, but I can show people chords, you know? So... Uh, I decided why not make just a little guitar tutorial for any of you guys maybe wanting to pick up a hobby or just uh, Maybe trying to impress somebody you go to a party they pick up a guitar just start playing it looking super badass Swab nice cool anyways So I'm just gonna teach you guys a few chords super easy super quick and it'll be uh, It'll be something that I hope you guys can benefit from or maybe you guys just like watching a video so the first, the first chord I'm gonna teach you is the G chord, which is super simple, super easy. It's a little hard because you gotta, you gotta like arc your fingers up here, so you don't mute the other strings. But it's super simple. So arguably, you know, the best finger, the index finger, you put it, you put it right here on the second fret of the A string. Your middle finger, which is the second best, or maybe the best if you know, do that. But the best finger, in you just put it right here, third, third fret of the low E string, and then here's where a lot of people you could you could do both ways on these two fingers right here. You could either put them right here, or you could just leave out the B string because the B string usually doesn't need to be there, but it it is a nice little, it gives it a little more fullness if you really wanna if you really wanna play it. But yeah, so it's just right here on the third fret of the E string, third fret of the B string is optional. And some people play it like this with their pinky, like that, leaving out the index finger. Losers. But uh just so that they can make it easier to switch back and forth between the uh C and the G. Uh I don't usually do that just because I never really learned how to do that. Plus when I'm playing a G string or G chord, I like uh using my pinky to go all the way up here to add a little umph to it sometimes. So so yeah, this is how it sounds. Perfect. All right. So the C chord, which is another like open chord, easy, super easy, super fun, is you just have your you have your index finger again on the second fret. Let me adjust the camera there. On the second fret, right here, of the B string, the index finger. Wait, no, the middle finger. Middle finger. Yeah, the F U finger. It's all over up here on the D string, the second fret of the D string. I know you can't really see right now, but I'm trying to get like the best angle for it. And then your ring finger all the way up here on the third fret of the A string. So, let's see. Alright, nice. And usually when you're playing the C string, you don't need this top one. So, you don't have to really... You, you can mute it with your thumb, but... That's if you have like large hands. I can understand people who don't have big hands trying to make that happen. But yeah, just like that. You can play the whole, you can get away with having the, the top one easily. You know, but if you want to play like super precise, super correct, then don't play the top one. And then the last one is the D chord, which is super easy. It's the index finger on the third fret of, or not the third fret, the second fret of the G string. Don't laugh. Uh, the second finger, the, in, the middle finger, right there on the second fret of the E string. And the last, fi the third finger, all the way here on the third fret of the B string. And you usually just play the last four ones like these up here. This one, this one, this one, this one. So. Perfect. Now let's just play a few chords to see how it sounds. Super simple, super easy. Have fun.